Did I always wanted a foreigner husband? I will answer that here on my video. Hi guys, Flori here again. Now I will answer the 10 questions from our YouTuber friend, the Brennan family. And I hope you will stick around up to the end of my videos. But before that, commercial muna tayo. Ano yung gamit ko ngayon sa face ko? Dahil syempre mag-YouTube ako. Ano yung ginamit ko? Ginamit ko ang aking walang kamatayang lanage. Ayan. Kung hindi nga natatanong, isa ito sa favorite ko na BB Cushion. Aside from my uh, walang kamatayan din na aking new skin. Siyempre, ito yung isa sa favorite ko. At iba naman talaga ang Renage. At siyempre, nilagyan ko siya na aking Peach Blow. Peach si ang kanyang name. Kung gusto nyo. At kung gusto nyo siyang makuha, i-click nyo lang yung aking link down below. At dadalhin kayo doon sa kanyang site. Ang aking Korean site na syempre, pinapakilala sa inyo. Kaya, Lanage and Pink Glow. And, kaya, kita nyo siya. Nagpipink siya at nag-glow. Okay, so, ipagpapatuloy na natin in a few minutes. So, syempre, may kodigo ako dito. Ayan, nilista ko na siya para medyo mas malaki siya. Kasi alam niyo naman, medyo hindi ko siya makita kapag, ano, kapag sobrang liit. So, yung first question niya is, what is my full name? And my place of birth. Okay, my full name, the, my real name is Florenda Ponseca Pascual. So, Ponseca is from my father's side and Pascual is from my late husband, Pascual. That's why we, we, me and my children are all Pascual. But of course, it's already passed before because I have a new surname because of my new husband, Roland. That's why now Florenda Arn. Okay, number one. Number two questions is when and why I started blogging. Unfortunately, um, I started my blog, if I remember before, um, last 2014 or 15, if I remember, huh? uh, I was just only singing because I love singing. That is my passion. And I just uploaded it to YouTube, but on that time, I don't really know about what's happening in YouTube. I just watch it and then um, continue to look for the other videos and then watch and watch and then I decided to upload my singing and that's it until after a few years then I saw there are so many youtubers there are so many people making YouTubes and then I was thinking that maybe I can make it on my own also so I decided to continue my YouTube channel but I am not so good when it comes to internet. That's why I need to try and search what I can do so I can start my own. So this is my second answer. How I met my husband. Um, this, this question says um, I will answer it on another video. So, I will not answer this here because I have already my video for this question. Okay, the next is, did I always wanted a Filipino, uh, not a Filipino, a foreigner husband? Okay, let me say this clear. Yeah, yes, I have always wanted foreigner husband even when I was young I remember those days I think I was seven years old up or 
you know, we, we, we know already what's on our mind, seven years old, you know. And we had the neighbors, uh, uh, they were a couple, of course, a Filipina, and the husband is a foreigner. And from the time, I was always looking at them. I'm always seeing them like they were so good and like a, how you call that, lovebirds. And this foreigner are so sweet and he is treating his wife very, very good, just like a queen. So on my mind, I was thinking that, oh, if I will marry to, if I will get married someday, I want a foreigner husband because the way they treating their wife is so good. I never saw that to a Filipino when I was young. Huh? When I was young, I never saw that. But unfortunately, I had no chance because the time when I started to grow growing grow up or growing up you know I met only Filipinos not a foreigner but I have one foreigner one time that liked me so much when I was young and we will tackle that on the other videos too so until I met my late husband he's a Filipino of course and then after that I met Roland after 20 years of marriage with my late husband and he's already dead now and then now I am married to a foreigner and my dream come true. So the next question is how old I was when I came here to Germany. I think I was 48 or 49 when I came here through a visitor's visa, you know, uh, my husband invited me and I was here, I think, 2009, December, on my birthday. And I, I was so happy when I came here for the first time I saw the snow. And that's the memorable for me. And the next question is, what is my relationship with my in-laws? Um, I will answer this question regarding to my relationship to my in-laws from my late husband. Because here, I have not, not really have a relationship, but I have only one in-laws, my sister-in-law, and she is very, very sick. And we don't even saw each other for how many years? I think only two times. For 10 years I'm here. I was here. Not even uh, an event. She came because I understand. She is very, very sick. And that's all. So my in-laws from my late husband, I can say that we have a very, very good relationship. I never had a problem about them, even before. Uh, we are very close, especially to the younger younger ones and the, to the elder ones. All! I am so close to them, all of them. And that is one thing that I can tell you all guys and can advise to you all. If you are separated, for example, for your ex, and you have a wonderful relationship before. Even what happened to your relationship with your ex-husband or to whatever, never said anything bad. So the relationship will still be there. Because if you will say bad and the other people, you know, hear that and they will tell it to your in-laws, it will be a class and, and not good. So better to stay positive and always good to each and everyone. So my in-laws, I am 
still missing them. I am still love them because I was there before 20 years together with them. We have a lots of fun. We have a lots of memories together. And those memories, of course, we all miss that if you had a good relationship. So relationship is really good. And the next question is, things that I don't like for my about my foreigner husband. Okay, it's not only I think to my foreigner husband, but as a whole here in, you know, German man, you know, the husband here or the father here, there's only one thing I can say. They are not a disciplinarian. Correct me if I'm wrong for some of, of you, but for I know so many father here, so many husband that they are not doing the disciplinary actions for their children. They just always say yes, yes, and yes. No, no. Just say yes or that's it. That's the only thing. But of all, among all the qualities, it's almost perfect for my husband. I love all the qualities. That is the only point that I don't like. The next question is, one thing that I really miss in the Philippines. Oh, a lot. I miss so, so many. And of course, I miss my family so much. I miss my kids, my brother, my uh, mga pamangkin, my nieces and uh, nephews. I miss all of them. I miss my relatives, my friends, close friends. I miss my neighbors, my colleagues, you know, workmates. I miss my in-laws, all of them. I miss them so much. Um, I miss the food, sinigang, but I can uh, cook here sinigang. But of course, it's really different when you cook it in the Philippines. All the food, you know, not all you can eat here. I miss the beaches. I miss the places that I was before. Especially Bulak, Bulak, Boracay, Palawan. Nabubulul na naman ako. Ayan naman. I miss all of them. And the next question is, what... What are my dreams and goals in life? So my dreams is always the same. For all of us to be united. No war, only peace. This is always my dreams, even before, even when I was young. And my dream is to help other people to the less, the less fortunate. And if I have a chance na, like what I've said on my other video, if I have a chance, I want to put up a foundation. And my dream is for my children, for them to be a good person. That is the most important. To learn how to help other people to learn the value of the things and everything the people not to be selfish my dream is for them to have a wonderful family and have a successful life in the future my dream is for us, for me and Roland, 
to have a better life in the future after the pandemic. Not only for us, but for all of us. Because we don't know the future may bring. My dream is for everyone to be healthy and always in good health. I have so many dreams, but dreams are dreams. So we need, uh, don't lose hope. We still need to continue all our dreams. So that's it. And I hope I did answer all the questions. Only one that I did not answer, the one that I told you that about how I met my, my husband. We will tackle that soon. And guys, if you have also questions like the Brennan family, just send me a message or write it down below so I can answer all. I am not a big YouTuber, of, of course, but I know some of you want to know me better. And I can only tell you if you will ask me. Because there are so many things that you don't know me and I can share it to you guys. So if you are not just a subscriber here and you like my video, Please do thumbs up and click the notification bell so you will get updated for my next coming video. I'll see you again soon and stay connected always. Glory here. Bye-bye. Thank you.